Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Crimson Sun 21 pulled, luckily, thankfully, in an early access bundle, six star Baron Zemo. And he has some unique synergies. You can see House of Zemo, gain plus 50% bleed potency for each other Baron Zemo on the team, gain 5% bleed potency for each rank in the Deep Wounds Mastery, gain 3% attack rating for each villain on the team, etc. So, like the great Seton used to say, what's it like to pull a champion straight out of the bin? You've got the Thunderbolt champion synergy. You've got the Falcon and Sam Wilson and Winter Soldier synergy, the Doom Apocalypse. So many. So many synergies literally is changing the game. Not to mention, of course, incredible prestige. And he seems to be a pretty dang annoying counter for Battlegrounds. I am going to hide my webcam. He thankfully has sped this up. But this appears to be what I think, given especially that it's a five star, is Labyrinth of Legends Red Hulk. So we're going to see just how he does. I appreciate this as a test over the only test we seem to ever do as a community, and that is, of course, the Realm of Legends Winter Soldier. And apparently, language! <laughs> it's also important to turn off notifications. If I was him, I probably would have just restarted the fight, but no, he's committed. Alright, so... Unawakened. Starting off a little rough. In this fight so far, he looks like a, a six star that's hitting like a four star. The the bleed damage at 928 per tick though is impressive and unlike Nick Fury or any other bleeders, it's not expiring. It's just like permanently there for the moment. I know permanently and for the moment is literally counterintuitive, but he's just melting. And the 20 bleeds are still just there. And now it's up to 28 to 35. And now the bleeds that you've got them ramped up, 1,800 per tick. There's 40 of them. And again, he's not watching them expire. Unlike pretty much every other bleed champion we've seen from Blade to Nick Fury, Black Cat, you name it. Little mistiming there. Is he going to push the bleeds past 40? Is 40 the max? Let's see. Yeah, 40 appears to be the max. That root may or may not be able to help you. But they're lasting, seriously, so long. It's crazy. Like, 6-star Zemo is crazy. <coughs> now, if they're bleed immune, how good is he going to be? I don't know. But in this particular case... It's just so much consistent damage. And now, okay, he's past 40. I, th I thought, well, I guess the bleeds end at 40. No, 43 now. Can he get 2,000 per tick? Almost. I am so intrigued by this fight. It's not blowing me away, but at the same time, I feel like I'm seeing something I haven't seen before, which is kind of amazing. And there is the 2,258 per tick. It's just so crazy to see bleeds that don't instantly expire. And they just kind of stay there. I mean, I'm, I'm intrigued right now. I am fascinated. And hopefully you are fascinated too. Because this is just not the kind of video that we have seen before. It almost feels like it's glitching, but it's not. And I know it's not perfect gameplay, but I don't care. The bleeds are really what this is showcasing. And now up to 48 bleeds. Still 22.58 per. Now, you have to beg, you know, begs the question, with the ramp up and everything else, What's the best utility for this champion? What's the best mode of which you can really see him 
flex his proverbial muscles. And I don't know if I know the answer to that. But just seeing that bleed never expire, and now it's up to 56, 63, 3,000 per. I mean, look at that ramp up. This is crazy. But is it going to feel like, especially for stuff like this, like it's a proximal midnight level ramp up? Maybe. I mean, he didn't take down Red Hulk in the end, but man, the bleeds were just so fascinating. And then the last fight was the standard test that we do for fun as a community. And that is the man who desperately either needs a better healthcare plan or who has the best healthcare plan ever because he never, ever seems to permanently get knocked out. He just revives. He's like a zombie. And that is the aforementioned Realm of Legends Winter Soldier. Man, I still can't get over the bleeds. And I know he's awakened, and I don't know. Maybe his awakened ability helped with that. I have no idea. I'm not impressed at all with his overall crit damage out of the bin. Like, that feels like it's the definition of pathetic. It seems like most of his damage is through the bleeds. And while that's fun, overall, eventually, I just feel like if there's a champion, like a bleed champion, that does something you like about another champion better, even with his crazy synergies, would you use him over Nick Fury? On for, At first glance, I wouldn't. And you can see, the other thing about the root that's kind of tricky is when he holds the heavy and then you kind of just run into it. It's just so crazy to see permanent bleeds. I still can't get used to that. Six star Zemo is, is wild. Now, when I say wild, that doesn't mean dominant. It just means it's not like anything I've, I've commentated. And I've made over 12,000 videos. It's also weird to see, there you go. It's weird to see the bleeds add in after the specials but not during the special attack. I don't know. He's so unique. And maybe that, that it's going to translate into a good Battlegrounds defender, or maybe it's going to be like Craven 2.0, who can certainly knock you out, but not as consistent as you would think. I don't know. I've been wrong more than I've been right predicting whether or not somebody's going to be a good defender. Here's looking at you video. I thought Ghost would be a good defender. It'll be in the Prof Off Hall of Shame forever. All right, up to 49 bleeds. I still can't get over them not expiring and them just sitting there. Crimson Sun, I appreciate the videos and I appreciate the patience. You recorded this for the channel and I um, promised I'd get it back. Let's bring myself back in now. I don't know. Jury's still out. What do you think, YouTube? Let me know in the comments below.